Hi everyone, my name is Peter and welcome to Our Worship Sound. In this video, I want to talk about something that's really important to getting the highest possible sound quality you can out of your keyboard. And I'm going to talk about probably the best tip that I can give you for this, but I've posted some other advice on my blog. So after you watch this video, you want to go over to ourworshipsound.com and check that out. In this video, I want to talk about something called gain staging. And the concept of gain staging is pretty simple and that for every step or stage in the audio chain, you want to maintain a healthy volume or gain. Um, I'm going to pop this diagram up here on the video and, and you can see that at different points along this you're, you're getting different levels of amplification in the signal chain. It starts off with a really weak signal and then the next thing, next time it's, it's really having to boost it back up and then the next settings are kind of low. And, and whenever you see a yellow bar, it means that that step or, or that piece of gear in the audio chain is having to work extra hard to get the level back up where it needs to be. And whenever that happens, it adds noise or distortion to the sound quality. And what we're after with good gain staging is really to have a healthy and appropriate level at every step along the way. So there are three things I'm gonna show you that you need to watch out for on keyboard in order to have a good gain staging setup and get the best sound quality you can out of your keyboard. First of all, uh, whether you're talking about your internal keyboard sounds or your sounds within the computer, um, you want to make sure that your your internal sounds are set to a good volume. Okay, I'm not talking about the the output. I'm talking about internal settings um, because each sound has a, a MIDI value that assigns the the volume to it. It can be anywhere from zero to 127. So you want to make sure that it's up there in, in triple digits above 100 to make sure you're getting uh, a good healthy volume and you're not cutting back right away on on what the sound level is. So um, if I'm on my Yamaha S80, I'm just playing a basic piano patch. I can go through and go into the edit window and go in and right away I can see um, there's a setting. I don't know how well it'll show up on the video, but there's a setting for volume and this has 126. I don't know, see if I can get it to 127. There we go. So now it's just, uh, there's nothing within the settings itself that's cutting back on the volume and uh, it's getting a good sound quality there. But what if I back this off to, let's say I take it all the way down to 10 and you'll barely be able to hear this. Okay, there's a little bit coming out, but not very much. So if I was sending that low of a level to the mixer, he would have to turn the settings way up. I'm gonna turn the channel input and the mixer's output way up. And you can hear it's still soft, and I'm gonna be quiet for a second. So I don't know if you can hear, but there's a lot of hiss that's coming out of my speakers. And the reason for that is because I had to crank the mixer settings way up to try to compensate for the really low level coming from my keyboard. So that's obviously not what we want. We wanna keep our signal clean. And so I'm gonna set my mixer back to where it was. And then if I get my keyboard volume back to 127, that hiss is gone. And so we've removed that noise from the signal chain. So like I said, you can apply that to sounds within the computer if you're using virtual instruments. Gain staging is not quite as crucial in, in a 24-bit virtual environment, but you still want to you know, have that practice of making sure everything is, is at a good healthy volume every time you're going through something. Okay, the other thing that you, uh, next thing you want to watch out for as a keyboard player is your master volume output. And you want to bring it back a little bit from 100%, maybe to around 80% or so. Okay, and contrary to popular belief, the reason for doing this is not so you have a little bit of volume in reserve, so whenever you can just wipe out the rest of the band at, at any time of your choosing. What we do is if we need that extra push over the cliff, you know what we do? Uh, put it up to 11. 11, exactly. So the actual reason why you want to back it off a little bit is because if you have your volume slider up at 100%, that means that your keyboard's output stage is working as hard as it possibly can to get the maximum volume out of your instrument. And anytime you have something working as hard as it can, it's not gonna do it as efficiently and it's gonna add potentially noise and distortion to it. Uh, I'm gonna turn down my mixer a little bit, but I'm gonna crank my volume way up on my keyboard and we'll see what happens here. So when I play my keyboard at 100% volume, there's some really noticeable and kind of nasty distortion that's going on. So I need to back mine off maybe even a little bit lower than 80%. Adjust my mixer back again. And the sound is nice and clean at that level. So just back off your volume a little bit from 100% down to about 80%. 
The third and final tip about gain staging applies if you're using some sort of mixer to combine different sound sources. Say we have more than one keyboard or you have a keyboard and a computer and um, you want to make sure that you're using your mixer properly in a way that's going to allow you to get the best gain staging out of that. So a couple things to watch out for is you want to try to make sure that the sound level coming into your channel and your output from the master channel is hitting at uh, zero decibels or is often called unity gain. If we look at this mixer, you probably can't see it, but there are little markings for uh, where it says zero. I think it's basically at 12 o'clock. Yeah, so you want to try to aim to have it there and uh, getting getting the master output. This one actually has a meter on it. Sometimes you can get a metering on the input as well, but you want to adjust that so it's hitting at zero dB. Okay, so if I'm playing this, I'm not quite hitting zero dB, so I would maybe just raise um, the master channel a little bit. I'm just hitting it with my maximum volume, it's hitting at zero. So and that's where you want to be and your, your sound technician will be really happy with that. Um, this is what I use for my keyboard and this is what I have for main stage output. And you want to make sure that those are, you know, both, ha uh, both healthy. You don't want to have one way down or both way down and the other way up kind of thing. So you just want to try to get everything as healthy and as normal as possible. So gain staging is a really important concept, not only to apply, but to continually check when you're trying to get the most out of your keyboard sound quality. Um, like I said, this was just the first tip that I had for trying to do that. You want to get the rest of the advice in the blog at OurWorshipSound.com. So uh, go ahead and click on the link in the description. You can head over there and get the other tips that I have available there. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.